everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm on site today cutting foam away from the foundation. I left some foam kind of sticking up beyond the tops of the foundation here because I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted to terminate the foam in terms of where the foam was going to interact with the foam from the house because there's foundation foam, there's house foam insulation. I wasn't sure, you know, if I should have this flow up into it, but I did some diagramming over the weekend and I realized that the sill plate is going to be put up right on top here. The sill plate is a piece of pressurized uh, lumber and it gets held down by these, uh, these pins, it gets bolted down. And right on the outside surface of the sill plate, because the house structure goes right up from there, there's going to be three quarter inch board that's like the interior wall board. And that's going to be sticking out three quarters of an inch beyond there, about halfway into this foam here. And then the foam from the, uh, from the house is going to be sticking out a little bit beyond there. So uh, it became obvious to me that really th this foam needs to be flush with the top of this foundation surface. So I've been cutting it off. I did the whole backside all over there, and I'm finishing up over here uh, just getting these guys off. And foam is so much more comfortable to work with than wood. I mean, it's just so easy. It's like a hot knife through butter, cutting through the stuff. And it's a real treat to work with that because it just, the, the, the saw just flies through it. So I'm just finishing up this area. I'll do a little bit more of that in a moment, but I should say that in the next couple of days, we're having a very large, exca well, not a very large, a regular size excavator, not a mini excavator coming. And it's going to be working on the root cellar area over there, really digging into the uh, ground because there's some large boulders there. We want to get those out of the way. We need the bigger machine to do it. And also we want to save those boulders for terracing. Uh, we can see right behind you, there's some large boulders that were set right down over here, starting to step the, the landscaping up and around so that we can get the different levels. And the large machine can move larger boulders more easily. And it also, has, with a longer arm, can reach them right down into these greenhouse areas because it's going to be boulders and terracing going on inside these greenhouse areas. So, uh, you know, with that machine, we're going to be able to do all that. So in the next couple of days, you're going to be able to see that stuff. But right now, I'm just getting this area uh, ready because the next step for me, really, is once I get all this set, is to start putting the sill plates down, actually cutting real wood and everything. But first, I got to work on this. That's it. Thanks for watching. tricky because the, the saw keeps wanting to tilt and stuff and you want it to be nice and level. You don't want it to be cutting through at an angle. There we go. I like the sound of it rattling on the, the rock or the concrete a little bit because it lets me know I'm I'm right on that on that level line. Almost there. Coming together.